So traders, the calm before the storm is here. And it's that calm is still continuing to be to build the calming effect. But you know, right, you know, the more the quietness it is out there about a market, the more we should be alert about something to come in that market. And that's what I want to touch right now, guys, on the silver market, on the gold market, uh, gold and silver, and also touch on the mining stocks as well. Let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. All right, traders, let's get straight into it. Now, we, we, if, you've ever, if you've ever heard the, the, the analysis, the calm before the storm, right? It's such a powerful dynamic if you understand what that means because the market goes through these phases. It goes through a moving phase, which is like, AKA storm phase, and then it goes through a calming phase, right? We have pullbacks, and then we go for a moving phase, and we have a pullback. We go for a moving phase, then we have a solo, all right? That's how the market operates. So, um, you know, that's one of the reasons why my trading system that I personally trade is so successful, because I use this within my trading system. If you'd like to learn all the details about how I trade the markets, and what I do to actually, what sort of system do I use to look for enter, that gives me a massive success rate, then very first thing in the description, go click on that and you'll be able to get you'll be able to get access to a brand new training that I've actually put together, walking through all the details to how I personally trade this trade the markets. That gives me a massive success rate. Um, and uh, and a whole bunch of other stuff as well too. There's plus there's three secrets there as well too to help you with your trading. 100 percent free. Go get that right now, very first thing in the description. But that's the reason why my trading is so successful because I understand this calming effect. And again, this calm before the storm effect, I utilize this in my trading system. But you're looking at the gold market right now. And the reason why I say this is the calm before the storm is because of one thing. And that is right now, there are so many people out there that have been getting involved with gold and silver and they have been just pulling their hair out, right? Even myself, there's a few times there where I thought the market was gonna break and then bam, come back down. It actually happened a few times. I'm like, wow, the sellers are really keeping this down. Now, they're not selling off strongly, right? There's a difference between the sellers in control and the sellers keeping it down. Sellers in control means we're in a complete bear market. We're not in a complete bear market here. We're in like a really just an overall you know, we, we, we were in a very good strong bull market through here, right? A very good strong bull market. And now you can see we haven't really gotten any strong sellers in this market here. So we're, we're not in a downward trend. The market hasn't really sold off a lot. You know, if you look at from, from where it is now, to, it's, it's only about 17% from the highs. But if you look at this low period back in 2018, so this high point, you know, it went up 80%. So it went up 80% you know, in almost two years. So what, we, what we're experiencing right now, because we, because we did so much movement over the couple of year period, the market's just having a very nice resting phase, just like it did back, you know, 2015, 16, and, seven, um, and so through here, right? Just like we did back here. So the purpose of me saying this, guys, is that because we had this big move up, now we've just gone through this long extended sideways movement and, the, and this is still the calm. We're not getting any strong selling bear market movement yet, right? And I say yet because like, oh, you know, it's like the way the way gold's gone, right? It's like, oh. Now I, could, I, I couldn't imagine seeing gold continue down back to a thousand. Anything can happen. And that's, that's the nature of the beast, right, guys? Like when we're getting involved with the markets, it's always the nature of the beast. And something that I had, it took me a while to just, except about the stock market. A lot of people come to the stock market looking for that certainty, but they'll go put a, but there's a massive probability of something working out, a 70% probability, oh, I don't know about this system, but then they'll go put on one bet that has maybe a 10% chance of actually working out to win big, right? The whole thing about trading is that we just must accept that even though, a, 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 even though a company can be really ex, really cheap, Barber, look at Barber right now. It's so cheap. It just keeps going down. It just keeps going down. And just because something is supposed to go up, like it's amazing that gold hasn't continued up with all this inflation, but trend, the inflation is not transitory. We are going to continue to see more upside movement on that. And 
Looking at gold right now, we can see gold has continued to be in this slow pullback through here. It's been one sort of smooth, slow uh, pullback. It hasn't been strong selling. Yes, we have, we've, we've got a pullback through here, but we haven't been racing up. Why? Once again, guys, in a matter of, say, a year and a half to two years, we did an 80% move. 80%. So now we're just pulling back 17% now. That's all we've done. We just we moved 80 to 80, 90%. Now we just pulled back 17%. We're just going that 17 to 20%. We're just doing that, resting right now, and the calm is still here. The impatience are leaving the market, and then suddenly out of nowhere, bam, the market starts to move, and before you know it, you've been left out. You're like, oh my goodness, why did I leave that? And then six months down the track, you're wondering why what's happening, right? So the calm before the storm is here, and it's going to happen. I just don't know the timing of that, right? That storm in gold, might be next year, right? It might be tomorrow, or it might be you know next week, right? We just never know of, of the of the timing factor there. So, oh wow! And so let's have a look at silver as well too. And the silver is just wow. Silver has just silver and gold have just both both just done pretty much nothing. We're in a downward trend right now on silver, but we're at this major level of support level through here. And there's nothing really too clear. One of a, a bit of a tip I, I want to share with you with your personal trading is that you don't have to trade everything. In fact, you shouldn't be trading everything and you should be only trading something that gives you a good probability, right? A system, a proven system. Um, it's okay, guys, like with silver and gold, if you're looking to get into these markets, but you're not too quite sure, it's okay. In fact, it's preferable that you step back and wait as long as you have to, even if you have to wait another whole week, another whole month, another whole six months to wait for a really good time to get into these markets, then let the market do its thing and then wait for that and then wait to jump in. It's the biggest thing out there, right? And you probably you probably experienced this before where you've just, you jumped in because you're fearful of missing out um, and then suddenly what happens, you know, the, 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 you know, the market keeps, keep, continues, to go, continues, to go, continues to go against you and you're like, man, if I was just patient, I wouldn't have got into this trade, and I would have actually got it. I would have actually got a much better entry signal. So, the whole thing about that, guys, is that it's okay to sit back and let the market do its thing for a while um, until you get a really good solid, um, solid entry, right? And um, because right now there's really nothing going on here with, with with silver and gold. But remember, I said before that nothing going on is that calm effect. We are about to see fireworks. Now, when I say we are about to, a month from now, you know, not tomorrow, but a month from now, and so on and so forth, that's when we're likely to actually start to see this here, right, guys? But be patient, be calm, sit back, watch, observe, do your analysis, and then as the weeks go on, when the time's right, you can start to, you can start to get in or add to or start to become part of the metals and miners, which I do believe going on the metals and miners here, I do believe we're likely to start to see some an incredible, incredible, incredible boom from 2020 to 2022 and onwards. The reason I say 2022 is because you just, I'm very confident from now through the next few years, we're going to be experiencing a very big bull market uh, from now through to 2025. When I say from now through 2025, it may happen in 2023. It may, the market may just keep doing what it's been doing now for another another 12 months and then suddenly starts to move. Or it may start next week. Or it may start the start of next year. I don't know. But I'm really confident over the next five years, we would have been, we would have had experience or in the middle of one of the greatest metals and miners booms we've ever experienced in history. And that's what I'm seeing here right now when it comes to the good old stock market as well too, right? We continue to see this overall sort of very, 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 very sort of just slow grind, ugly pullback. And there's no bullishness TA at all. No bullishness TA at all. And so uh, looking to get into these markets, it's the, I'm not looking to add to the positions. I'm not, not, not looking to get into any of the positions until I start to get a really, 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 really good solid entry. And I'm going to sit back myself. I'm going to keep my powder dry. I'm gonna keep scanning all the stocks out there to identify 
amazing quality trades. But I'm not gonna guess an amazing quality trade. I'm gonna use my trading setup that I know that when it appears, it's like, wow, here we go, right? Because that's what trading is all about. Again, in that very first thing in the description, guys, make sure you click on that. And that's gonna take you over to a page. We're gonna get access to a brand new trading. I'll walk you through the one thing that actually took me from losing a lot of money to become a full-time trader. Secondly, my all the details to my trading system. And thirdly, how I actually trade the markets less than an hour per day. In fact, as I'm doing this recording today, I only traded 20 minutes. Because that's all that's all that needed to be done today. So um I really want you to understand that that's that's how that's the truth about trading, right? The truth about your trading is that um, a lot of people are trying to make money every day, but when you try to do that, you're 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 running the risk of trying to force. You know yourself if you force it, you rush it, jump it because you fear, or jump it because you FOMO, um, which is basically fear of missing out. You're doing all this stuff because you want to make money, but guess what ends up happening? You end up going backwards, right? Now, every now and then, you may make some money. You may get, you may, you may do well every, you know, over a period of a few weeks or a few months of you just being lucky with not trading any system out there, right? But the way that it's important to look at your trading over the year, and this is the way that I do it, is I have more like a monthly target at least, or on the on on. But the big picture for me is a yearly target. I want to make this much money per year. And then I know throughout the year, I'm gonna have months where they're gonna be really, really, really active. And then also I'm gonna have months where it's gonna be quiet. And I must be okay with that because that's the nature of the beast, right? Like right now, for the last, say, week or two, it's actually been really quiet with the way that I trade. It's actually, I'm, 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 actually in, I'm actually in some trades right now that are just rocking it out. I'm in the energy sector as well too. That thing's just been going crazy the last, few, last month. Um, but as in new positions, I haven't ha- I haven't ha- I haven't been very active for the last week or two. The market's been very volatile, hasn't given me any good strong signals, so I'm just sitting back, consistently showing up every day and waiting for that really good time to enter the markets. So traders, once again, if you are struggling the markets right now and you're wondering what do I need to do to actually move forward um, and you'd like to learn a good trading system that I trade, then very first link in the description, go click on that and I'll see you in the next video.